Uh, ikafika wakati kukawa na the challenges za yeah. wahindi you know them. Yeah. Nye wanga pale unaenda unamfanyia kazi, ukienda yeah. upate pesa nyingi ndio wanga na anakuharakisha sasa ulete pesa, yeah. pesa mingi pale. So ilifika mahali. I had to give up. Yeah. Sasa nikasema pale from pale sasa nikujiaji. Nikujiajiri. Yeah. yeah. You have no freedom at your own. Yeah. Kila wakati ni kazi kazi kazi. Yeah. Mshara ni ile mshara duni. So that was the challenge. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Na zile ma jeep za wahindi yeah. mara nimekutusi mara nimekwambia yeah. nimewambia nikamwambia kuna okay our vision yeah. is a bigger vision yeah. tushikie na tushikie even the youth venye yeah. tu nimekwambia pale mwanzo hizi hii ni kazi ambayo tutakuja tukirete na kazi nzuri ilikuwa kuna youth pale ambaye ana kazi ambayo ana maybe anajichanga pale maisha imekuwa hivi nimesoma nimefika mahali fulani yeah. tunaweza mpa the way out yeah. na maisha yake yakuje na yafanyaje yeah. na badilika na the owner of uh, the very beautiful uh, flower uh, flower flower things ninyi mnaona hapa hivi target kuchapa na story uh, from where it all began uh, na mbona akaamua kukuwa his own boss and guys let's do this so habari yako baba salama salama yeah ndio uh, can you unaweza tuambia unaitwa nani na unatoka wapi kama jina ni Anthony Karani yeah i'm from Kiambu yeah yeah that is um, that is my home yeah yeah na like uh, kama nimevyokuja kukutembelea hapa naona uko na vitu kali kali hapa na unaweza tuambia like uh, hii ndio kikazi yenye ulianza nao ya kwanza ama umefanya kazi kadhaa ndo uka jump into this okay hii sio kazi yangu ya kwanza yeah. nishafanya kazi mingi na yeah. uh, zile kazi ambao wanga, ama kazi yenye wanga nafanya my main career yeah. kazi ni ya kio yeah. ya grass is yeah. window panes hizo yeah. zote lakini saka tulikuja tukaingia the msimu wa covid yeah. saka pale ndio kama na the challenges zenye zilikuwa pale yeah. kazi kawa imeenda chini kidogo yeah. so i had to think Do another another uh, i mean I, I, i came to think about doing something else yeah. na sasa ndio nikuja na the idea ya hii kazi ambayo nafanya wa leo yeah. i think it's my part time job yeah. Yeah. na labda nikikuuliza baba umesema ulikuwa kwa hii kazi ya vio hiyo ndio kitu me specialize in. Yeah, ulikuwa ulikuwa umeandikwa ama ilikuwa kazi yako? Okay, there was a time I was employed. Yeah. Na nikawa nimejiriwa pale. Yeah. Aha, pa, ikafika wakati kukawa na the challenges yeah. za wahindi you know them. Yeah. Nye wanga pale unaenda unamfanyia kazi, ukienda yeah. upate pesa nyingi ndio wanga na anakuharakisha sasa ulete pesa, yeah. pesa mingi pale. Yeah. So ikawa that time Mombasa Road ilikuwa ina jenga jengo the first the construction ya kwanza. Yeah. Ile construction ya kwanza yeah. ilikuwa na challenge sababu jamu ilikuwa pale asubuhi yeah. unapata ni jamu ukifika kwa mwindi umechelewa yeah. ukifika pale kazini eh, nataka urudi nyumbani. Yeah. Ndio uweze kufanya nini? Kuweza yeah. kuja kazini kesho mapema. Yeah. So ikifika tena kesho asubuhi mapema yeah. unapata the same case ile happen jana ime happen leo tena. So ilifika mahali I had to give up. Yeah. Sasa nikasema pale from pale sasa nikujiaji. Kujiajiri. Ni kujiajiri. Yeah. yeah. Na nikikuuliza ni challenges gani ulikuwa unapitia pale kama umeandikwa? Yaani which was the biggest challenges ukipitia wenye uli, ulikuwa employed? Okay, the challenges zenye zilikuwa kazi ya kuajiliwa. Yeah. You have no freedom at your own. Yeah. Kila wakati ni kazi kazi kazi. Yeah. Mshara ni ile mshara duni. So that was the challenge. Yeah. Eh. Na zile ma jeep za wahindi yeah. mara nimekutusi mara nimekwambia. Yeah. So ikabidi. Ni achane na ile kazi yake. Yeah. Eh. Na straight forward after kuacha hiyo kazi ndio uliingilia hii kazi ya maua ama ulienda kwa kazi nyingine? Uh, uh, wakati sana nitoka kwa mwindi pale yeah. siku ingia tu kwa kazi ya maua. Yeah. Cuz that was my job ambayo nilikuwa na heshim from mwanzo yeah. ya kio. Nilibidi sana nikaenda upande wa Equity Bank. Yeah. I had some savings with Equity. Yeah. Dio, they gave me the my first vehicle yeah. ambapo sasa nikuja nikaanza kazi ya kio naye yeah. pata mwisho nikakuja sasa nikaanza sasa kazi yangu 
nikaenda pale kwa huyo mwindi tu mwenye tulikuwa tunafanya kazi naye yeah. so kwa sababu tulikuwa tunajua vizuri na ile kazi ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya yeah. na tulikuwa tumeaminiana so after i bought the vehicle yeah. nilienda pale na kanipa mali na nikaenda kazi saa nikawa nimejiajiri kwa kazi yangu ya kio yeah. ambao saa pale angeniambia fanya hivi fanya hivi nikisikia hiyo siku ni kupumzika mimi ndio nilikuwa nafanya aje na pumzika yeah. Yeah. so na nikikuliza labda yeye mwenyewe alikukubali ama ali, ulimwambia unaenda kufungua biashara yako na alichukulia aje kama mtu mwenyewe alikuwa amekwajiri yani umekuwa employee wake alafu tena ume decide kwenda kufungua kazi yako wewe mwenyewe alichukulia aje yule muhindi Okay kulingana na venye alichukulia yeye yeah, akufikia mali maybe akakasirika yeah. ama akasikia vibaya yeah. the only thing ye yeah, alijua vizuri yeah. ilikuwa ni yule mshahara ambao ama ni yule mshahara ambao alikuwa ananipa yeah. alikuwa amejua that pad ni shamuondokea ilikuwa ni maintenance za gari zake na nini na nini alikuwa zisha muondokea yeah. so on his side ilikuwa ni kama furaha kwake sababu gadi ni yangu mafuta ni yangu lakini ile shima ambayo tulikuwa tumefanya kazi naye yeah. hadi wale ambao tunaongea even if ile kazi nikifanya wa leo huwa yeah. anaenda tu pale nachukua mali yangu ya kio yeah. naenda nafanya nini naenda napelekea customers wangu yeah. na ile heshima ya ile ama ile heshima ya pale mwanzo yeah. ya kazi ya kio bado iko yeah. lakini sasa ndio nilikuwa nakwambia kazi ya kio bado nafanya until today yeah. lakini instead of wasting my most of the time yeah. nilikuwa nimeka idol yeah. so nikaacha na that idea ya hizi mbao ambazo unaona nikiuza leo Yeah. So when I'm not in that business of glasses yeah. um yeah in this Flower. business flowers yeah ndio yeah. na labda kama nikikuliza kuna jua kuna biashara nyingi sana zenye ziko all around ni nini ili kudrive ama ni nini ili ili kufanya ukoona like a biashara ya kuuza maua ndio biashara yenye inanifaa kukua kama after kama sifanyi ya hiyo nafanya biashara ya kuuza maua mbona uliamua hiyo ya maua ndo biashara yenye ilikuwa poa sana kwako kufanya okay chenye kilifanya nifanye the wamuzi yeah. i just came came out with the idea yeah. nikaangalia nikaona hakuna okay the, ni kazi ambayo ni unique yeah. ambayo haina watu wengi yeah. ambayo haina that competition yeah. hata the, my first day yeah. when ile siku saa ya kwanza yeah. ambayo nilifanya kuanzia hii kazi yeah. in fact i was there at Mombasa road pale Mombasa cement yeah. after kufanya the display naye Mungu akawa amefanya aje amenifungulia njia pale yeah. after kufanya the display kasa mwa kwanza alikuja after kumbuzia zile mambo ambazo nilimuzia in, in two hours time yeah. nilikuwa nimetangaza pesa zangu almost 22k after i calculated my profit nikapata my profit nimepata almost 10k sa yeah. so nikaamua ile ni kazi ambayo sasa nitafanya ikiwa kazi yeah. ambayo nitanishikilia kwa maisha na within that very short time ya hizo miezi ambazo nimefanya kazi sijafanya more than 4 months yeah. lakini kwa hizo miezi tatu ambazo nimefanya naona tu vizuri ni kazi ambayo naweza fanya kwa maisha yangu yeah. naishikilie even the family nikiwa nafanya tu kazi ya kio events oh, there was a time i was thinking about the youth pia mm. venye tunaweza kuja hii kazi maybe Mungu akibariki na ameibariki. Yeah. Itakuja na yeye kuelea yeah. na hivyo ni kazi kubwa. Yeah. So tukiwa na madam wangu pale. Yeah. Tukiwa tunaongea tu venye tunaweza fanya hii kazi. Yeah. Iwe ni kazi unique hata kwa wale ambao wawezo kafanya nini wakaweza kupata that pesa mingi ya kujiajiri. Yeah. Sasa ndio tukiwa tunaona kuna hizi pot za hizi maua. Yeah. Ile pot ukifanya cost ya kumalizia na nini na nini yeah. ukipata customer ambaye unaweza uzia na that 1000. Yeah. Naye aende aweke that maua. Hiyo ni kitu ambacho ata uza shilingi zake 2000 yeah. na out of that 2000 hata kosa yake ngapi Tano. na ni kitu ambao unatokezea nacho pale yeah. na kasa manakuja tu sio hata tunamwambia kuja nunue ye mwenye attraction ya ile kazi ambayo unafanya yeah. ndio wanga inamvutia yeah. na the display ambayo utakuwa naye ndio wanga inamvutia so ni kazi ambayo naweza sema ni kazi nzuri for a short time ambayo nimeifanya yeah. na na, na shimu pia hey. na labda kama nikikuuliza wewe mwenyewe Wenye umesema like uh, the first day umesema uli make pesa ngapi yani profit yenye uli make kwa ikaze profit yenye ni make on that certain day ilikuwa 10k jo ni lose ama wangapi i think i sold 5 flowers yeah after i did my calculations uh, expenses and the cost ya materials na nini na nini yeah. i came to find out that my profit was 10000 so the following morning niliamka tu vizuri na nikaingia mali ambako nilikuwa nimeingia tu pale na kazi ikaje na ikashika na ikashi ikashika na ikashika na, na nikikuuliza labda uli uli hii kazi ya maua hii ulianza na capital ya pesa ngapi ndio ulianza nayo capital ya hii ya hii kazi ya maua okay the capital sio pesa mingi in fact nilianzia na tuseme pesa zenye nianzia it was around 22k 22k yeah 
Yeah, and because uh, ikionekana kama uli make your profit hiyo pesa mingi so ni kumaanisha ulikuwa pia na maua mingi kadhaa at the startup. Did you have any experience hii kazi ama did you have to do some researches kuhusu hii kazi pale online ama uliingia je tu kwa hii kazi? Ulifanya ma research ama kulikuwa agenda uka, ukaamua tu nimeshaingia kwa hii kazi ya maua? Okay, most of the times wanga naingia online mm. na kuna vitu nyingi sana wanga sana sana, sana na jaribu na zina invent kwa maisha yangu mm. na ni vitu ambazo naweza fanya. Lakini I came up Ma, my bro sasa yule mdogo naye akaja akapata niko nimetengeza some pots pale sasa kaniulizia size hizi pots zako mekalisha tu hapa hivi na hizi ni pesa si tuende kazi so nikamwambia ina shida yeah. before tufanye vile tunaweza ongezea zingine ndio zifike mali ambako zina zina staili ama ile namba ambayo tunaweza hitaji ndio ifanye aje iweze kukubalika ta display ya customer yeah. and that is what we did yeah. and hiyo uh, siku ya kwanza ambayo nimewaambia nikaenda kwa kazi yeye ya maua na tukaanzia vizuri So sio kitu ambacho tukuja tukaanzia tuna shilingi 100,000 ama shilingi 200,000 ilianzia tuna hiyo 2022 na hadi wale wale ambao tumefika sasa hizi hata nikienda nichukue pesa za mtu 50k yeah. within some few days ninapata that money na pesa za nyenye unarejesha na sasa hizi mali ambako na elekea mali ambako na target kama size mali ambako tuko in yeah. fact when i came to sio kimau nilikuwa nauzia hapa mali ambako niko kabla mimi nilipata penye niko pale yeah. Saa ikawa kuna huyu mwadamu mwenye hizi containers yeah. yeye ndio saa tumekuwa tumeongea naye yeah. unfortunately nikakuja nikapata hizi nyumba za mbele zishachukuliwa yeah. saa juzi tukaongea naye akaniambia mahali ambako ulikuwa unauzia you come and settle there yeah. juu kuna nyumba ambazo nitaongezea pale yeah. so i'm hoping that nitapata nyumba pale yeah. na saa kazi yangu nitaingiza tu hapo ndani hapo yeah, ndani yeah. yeah saa hii gari nayo niweze kwenda na upande wa watafa mkule mali ambako wanga naenda ya. Na labda nikikuliza on a good day unatengeneza kama pisa ngapi na hii maua yako pia kama unaweza explainia kama kuna kwanga na seasons kuna ile kama unajua saa hii tuko msimu ya Valentine. Ni seasons gani maua inabaiwa sana ama on weekends ama on weekdays e, na on a good day unatengeneza kama pisa ngapi? Okay it depends. Uh, okay. Wanga inaringana na siku venye umeamka na baraka za Mungu zenye ama yeah. Lakini each and every day wanga au kosi faida yako ya 5k yeah. after you have done the materials na nini na nini yeah. unapata kwa siku umepata shilingi zako 5000 yeah. eh, so ni kazi ambayo haina nini haina haina leo ni valentine kesho ni it has no season yeah, yeah. inakuanga season each and every many kama saizi tunaweza kuwa tunaongea saizi yeah. na customer akipita tu pale na gari akiangalia display na pendezo na ile maua yeah. she will come or he will come and pick the flowers and yeah. imempendeza eh hey. Ya yeah, wacha nikurudisha nyuma kidogo kwa naona hii maua yako umeiweka iko juu truck yeah. so ni kumaanisha pay you coming from fund au kuja uzie maua hapa yeah. mbona maua yako unauza ina in terms of mobile form ama unakwanga to this place ama kuna siku fulani unakwanga pia kwa pale fulani unaenda una pack tu gari yako unauzia hapo siku nyingine pia unaenda una pack gari yako unauzia hapo ama inakwanga aje venye maua yako unauzia kwa gari Okay, maua ndio nifikia kuuzia kwa gari. Yeah. Gari ndio nilikuwa nafanya naye kazi ya kio. Yeah. Sasa nikaona ni side ya nishina nikitafuta sijui nyumba, sijui nini. Wacha for the time being, kabla nipate saa mali ambako nitakuwa permanent kwa areas zenye natafuta kazi. Nikaona acha nitumie the gari. So wanga naenda pale upande wa Tafom. Yeah. Kuna Great Mosque ambazo ziko pale ama Great Estates. Yeah. Saa pale ndio niamua nifanyia kazi kwa gari for the time being. Then after kufanya mahesabu za rents na nini nikaona yes nikifanya kazi kwa gari inaweza kuwa na profit bado yeah. juu hata nikihesabu ile pesa ambayo natumia kwa mafuta ni ile ni itakuwa kidogo kuliko ya nyumba ya nyumba yeah, yeah. yeah. sasa ndio nikatumia ndio sababu wanga natumia gari oh. eh, na tena wanga naona ni vizuri sababu unaenda mali ambako unajua kuna wateja wengi mali ambako kuna watu wengi pale na inakuwa ni ni kazi nzuri hata ukiyo unafanya una mobile yeah. Yeah. so sio kazi hati ni male lazima ufanye mali permanent yeah. uh, ni, saizi hata nikiamua saizi naenda upande wa maybe tuseme utawala yeah. I'll just go and yeah. park my vehicle there yeah. I'll, and I'll do my business as a yeah. yeah. turudi sasa kwa mawa yako mostly mawa yako hapa ni mwona yote ni artificial si hati kitu natural enye unamwagilia maji kila siku e, mbona uliamua upotele kwa kuza mawa artificial Venye tu nilikuwa nimeambia from the beginning yeah. we are coming out of analog yeah. to digital. Yeah. So sasa hizi unaenda unapata ulikosha nunua maua pale natural. Yeah. Mwisho ukanyunyuzia maji. Yeah. Wakati saa zimeanza tu kuna bidi pale yeah. zinakuja zinaanza kukauka pale. Yeah. So hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza ambao kwanza mimi nikiwa karani. Nimefanya ni fanya ikazi. 
ya kunua maua ambazo ni artificial yeah. maua ambao utachukua na ukiweka pale kwa boma itakuwa tu permanent venye yeah. venye iko yeah. ndio na labda kuna customer wenye wanakujanga hapa kwako jo hapa naona hauna maua natural kuna customer wanakujanga wanataka maua natural mm -hmm. na kama wako una dealing nao namna gani wenye mm huanga -hmm. na wana wanauza the natural maua pia nao wanga watu wa chili kuna zile pots ambazo wanga tunauza zikiwa empty yeah. unamuzia that pot ikiwa empty yeah. kisha ile maua saa ambayo inampendeza na anaenda kutafuta that maua yeah. na juu pot zetu ni zile unique mm -hmm anaenda sana na jinulea ye maua yeah. anapanda ile maua ambayo inampendeza yeah. na labda kama juu unaona unauza maua artificial sana sana eh, feedback ya customers yenye inakuangaje ama wao wenyewe ndio upenda hizo maua artificial ama unenanga na demand no uh, okay wanga tuende na demand yeah. wanga tunaenda na test ya customers yeah. customer akiangalia the display hata akiwa mali ambako ako venye tu nyi pia mkipita pale mliangalia the display na mkona kuna swali ambao mnaweza niulizia even our customers are that same way yeah. anapita pale akipita akirudi uh, anaona kuna kitu ambacho nilikuwa nimeona pale unasikia tu amesimamisha gari maua unauza pesa ngapi mnasikizana niweke kwa gari ukimzia moja na kuja zingine kesho ha? na kazi inaendelea aso naweza kuuliza swali our very esteemed seller wa imaua kwa environment a uh, imaua artificial does it have uh, any effect Ah uh, kwangu kulingana venye nimefanya the research yeah. I think it has no any effect yeah. even in the environmental sitani na ene madhara yeah na labda nikuulize because naona place yenye umelocate pia ni hapa kwa barabara ni nini ilifanya ukakuja uka, uka kulocate east side ya Sokimao apart from uh, locating uh, in, in, in many other places unajua huku pia watu wa my own my homes ni nini ilifanya ukakuja kulocate mostly you and wa Sokimao Okay tena kilifanya ni fanya ku rocket upande wa Sokimau. Yeah. Okay, I was to rocket there at the main Mombasa road. Yeah. Lakini kukaa kuna constructions ambazo zinaendelea pada za kujenzwa barabara. Na sasa hiyo siku ya kwanza ya kwanza sasa ndio nilikuja nikaingia pale Sokimau. Yeah. After I came there on my first day. Yeah. Nikapata customers mali ambako sasa hizi tumesimama. Yeah. And that particular day it was on a Sunday. Siku za siku kosa pesa yangu. Almost ni hiyo siku ni uza 10k. Yeah. Okay wange nafanya aje after selling the 10k faida wanga ni half of that money so wakati nikuja nikaona nimepata customer wa kwanza nikajua pale baraka ziko na Mungu amenielekesha pale sio kimau so I had to come here from that day yeah. na ndio sababu nikakuja kwanza nikafanya the display hapa kwa barabara but the time ni fanya kupata nyumba pale nitajua tu vizuri wakazi wa sio kimau ni wengi and there are so many na waki, nikisha fanya the display hapa kwa barabara yeah. na hizi nyumba ambazo zinajenga hapa zikisha malizika nitachukua yeah. tu nyumba moja so hakuna mali ambako sasa nitakuja ni shift tena yeah. so i'll be having a shop at Sokimau yeah. that other base itakuwa ni upande wa Tafom and um, hoping itaenda na izidi na hiyo biashara zio biashara nyingi sio biashara moja yeah. that is my vision ni locate each and every corner of Nairobi ikiwa size ni kwa Sokimau there are some other places like Utawala kuna sehemu zingine kama Kalen so um hoping for good things yeah yeah and bigger business yeah yeah taking you back to like um, when you were well, more to like uh, step here yeah. i want to start my uh, own business mm -hmm. uh, did you get, ever get uh, to back to any regret of starting up your own business of being your own boss asijawai yeah asijawai i have never 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 you never uh, yeah Okay. Yeah, kwangu wanga na sikia aje ni, ni kama ile tu changa moto iko maua ya okay mara kwanza ikiwa ulikuja na maua kumi umekuja umeuza that maua within a day wanga sasa inakumotivate kesho uwe na more than 50 yeah. na ndio sababu natafuta nyumba pale ndio nikifanya road ni kwa hii gari yangu najua ile nyumba ambayo nimechukua ama nimepata pale hiyo yeah. itakuwa ni ya maua kiasi kadhaa au ama, ama ni from 50 pieces na hizo ziko pale nami zile ambazo naenda nazo upande wa platform na hizo nazo ziko upande wa platform saa siwezi ndio kafanya ati kuna any regret ambayo naweza sema hapana kuna mali ambako nikuja nikakosea yeah. na ndio nimekuambia kama sasa hizi tumesimama hapa hivi tunaweza tukia tu kama amekuja amekuambia nataka hii maua na ina ina hii so within some few minutes unapata pesa zako zimeingia kwa mfuko yeah. yeah so by the end of the day sio kazi ambayo tu unakuja regret yeah. ah, ah and uh, taking you back to like uh, kwa biashara yako which is one of the biggest challenges na ni challenges kama gani unapitanga kwa biashara yako basically uki run okay the challenges ambazo na sema so many times wanga na pitia wakati maybe na hitaji hizi maua za juu yeah. kuna kwenye wanga tunaenda kuna upande wa Nairobi pale maybe mwenye wanga nafanya the supply you need the flowers immediately lakini na take longer time 
kapo fanye wafanye the delivery na maybe kuna customer mbali kwa amengoja zile zile maua yeah. that is the only challenge ambao wanaweza sema iko pale yeah. yeah and uh, iko hii biashara yako do you have uh, any number of employees yenye umeandika ama just run it uh, on, only you and you and you uh, it is not only me and me yeah. i have my nephew ambao yeah. tunafanya kazi na yeye yeah. i am there yeah. and there are uh, still my brother yeah. so kazi kwa nyingi wanga tunafanya sisi wote yeah, yeah. And I want to say that our vision yeah. is a bigger vision. Yeah. To and to even the youths. When you are going to be a young man, you are going to be a young man. 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 You are going to be a way out. You are going to be a young man. You are going to be a young man. Yeah. And uh, talking to a youth out there mwenye labda na try to figure out kitu anaweza fanya. Hebu mwambie just uh, some two words mtu mwenye akona experience in this uh, business world or ama e business field. Yeah. Okay kwa the young generation or the youth chanyeza kuambia ni ya kwamba masomo sio mwisho wa kila kitu pale. There are so many people ambao kama saa mimi nikiwa na wakati nilikuwa nasoma. There were so many my friends ambao walikuwa mbele yangu na walikuwa na miliki namba moja tukiwa pale shule lakini at that time tulikuwa tunaona kama hatutafika mahali ambako tumefika leo. Lakini venye tulikuja tukaanza kazi zetu. Waleo wenye tulikuwa tunaona watu namba moja. Hata mahali ambako tumefika waleo hawezi wakatufikia sababu wakati saa wao walikuja wakiangalia masomo yao. Nasi tukaangalia nimefika mahali kwa masomo yangu. So nikachukua maisha yangu ni yangu na kazi sio lazima ati niajiliwe ndio niweza ku wish uh, maisha yeah. maisha wende wanga unaamua yeah. you might have the degrees lakini mwishowe ilikuwa Mungu masomo ilikuwa ni ya kukushikilia tu ukiwa shule na Mungu amekubariki na kazi ya ya jua kali venye wanga tunaita kazi ya jua kali yeah. instead of wasting that time kingoja tafika siku wa na kampuni fulani there are so many things ambazo the youth wanaweza wanaweza fanya yeah ana like uh, nikikuuliza sasa sasa hii kama venye umetuambia pombeleni like hii uh, dunia yetu sasa hii tuko on a very higher technology sasa hii unajua kila kile kila, kila, kila mtu sasa hii ako very close na simu yake vitu kama social media vitu kama online platforms did you ever think of uh, kupeleka hii maua yako ama hii biashara yako ikuwe online ama which are the marketing strategies zenye wao unatumianga Okay for the time being nimekuwa tu nikifanya uh, in the analog way to seme yeah. sababu sijafikia that nini sijafikia kuwa hapa kwa siku mingi lakini that was my idea i be in online ndio sababu wale customer ambao siwezi nikawafikia niweze kuwafikia through online yeah uh, na sasa anaweza tuambia uh, jina ya biashara yake na kama mtu anaweza taka kumfikia kama mtu amefurahishwa na maua yake hapo anaweza mpata aje kama labda anaweza tupatia namba ya simu Yes. So unaweza tuambia jina ya biashara na namba ya simu. Okay, majina ya biashara wanga tunajiita Froiz K Flowers and Beauty. Na namba zetu za simu ama namba ambayo unaweza tupata nayo ni 0723 878 You can call Anthony Karani. Yeah. Yeah, can you can repeat the repeat the number like uh, the second time. Okay, then I will repeat the number again. The number is 0723-878777. Yeah. yeah. So it was very good having an interview with one of our very esteemed Kenyan entrepreneur. Now guys, youth meskia, there are a lot of a lot of a lot of things that you want to do here in so guys, I hope you got a business experience out of this story. I kindly subscribe if you have not yet subscribed so that you won't miss other interesting uh, contents like this. This is Biz Kenya uh, with Story Angu and I, your host, Kelvin Juguna. I'm thanking you so much for being part of this video. Subscribe. Let's meet in the next episode of Biz Kenya na Story Angu.